Hi there. This is our German lathe, very old lathe, 1936 I think. In beautiful condition considering it's that age, very heavy machine, really nice quality. Um, it's um, built very, very heavy. Um, it's got the old flip top um, headstock here and um, everything in there is super big and super heavy. Um, it's got uh, forward and reverse clutches and it looks in good condition in there. Um, it's got your feeds, etc. I'll basically start it up. Now the motor itself um, originally was ground um, mounted, um, so the new owner will have to do a bit of work um, and mount that to the ground. We've just temporarily set it up on a forklift um, to get a little bit of tension on the belts, etc. Um, someone's fitted a modern start, stop, set up overload there. So, oh, that's reverse, I'll run you in forward. So basically I've got the um, lead screw running there. Those levers and that seem to go through nicely. So this is your engagement um, for that lead screw. Um, I'll swap that over to the feed shaft. So now I've got that feed shaft going. And there's the engagement for that feed with the carriage running that way. Now it's got some wee trip outs here, some travel stops um, that you can set up either end of the carriage so it trips out of feeding. Otherwise you can manually trip it out here. You can also forward and reverse um, the um, feed from the carriage. So now I've just changed that and got it feeding um, towards me. I'll um, change that uh, feed to um, the cross slide, so now that's coming out towards me, and change that there, and now that cross slide is feeding away from me. And it's got the um, a, a, a trip out stops um, for that as well, for that cross slide, which is good. So that's pretty much that. Uh, carriage itself feels okay to move considering it's a big heavy thing um, and so does that cross slide. Um, there's a quarter of a turn movement in that. That compound slide's okay to move and that's probably got a quarter of a movement in that as well. The tail stock itself um, has got a wee quick movement set up here. It's a bit rough on the inside of that, but considering its age, it's not too bad. Alright, I'll take you through um, some of the speeds here very, very quickly. Um, so that was in the um, low range. Um, I'll, I'll make that even slower. Uh, so that's even slower. Um, I'll move those into the high range here. Um, so that's jumped us into that high range there. And I'll take us through to the highest range. So that's 250 there. Um, that is... I'll show you one more, which will be 190. So, for a big old lathe, um, it runs really nicely and is reasonably quiet. Um, and see if all feels pr pretty good, considering. 
um, but it is German quality um, it's very heavy duty it's an old machine now it's just got a faceplate on it and someone's um, attached the four jaw to that um, we don't have those chuck keys so I'm sure um, the lathe itself has got a huge amount of life left in it considering it's got this far and I'm sure someone will find some good uses for it.